Today's video is sponsored by My Self Haircut Course. It's your man, Alex, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the top five reasons why you might be too afraid to start cutting your own hair to save your time and money and how you can overcome that fear. In complete honesty and all fairness, I think the number one reason why people are afraid of cutting their own hair is because they're more so afraid of what other people will think about them. And for me personally, I kind of just live in my own little bubble in life where I don't care what anybody thinks about me because I know that I'm genuinely moving throughout my life in a way that's good for everybody in general. So if I feel like I'm doing something, which in this example is cutting my own hair, then there's no reason I should be getting any type of backlash from anybody or any type of external force in the first place, right? So if I feel like I'm doing good to the world and I'm a genuine person, I only really think about myself, my family, my close friends, and these like tight knit people. And then of course you guys here on YouTube, if I cared about what people thought about me, the hundreds of negative YouTube comments, TikTok comments, Instagram comments that I get on the daily basis, I would end up stop making videos and you guys wouldn't see of me anymore. If I actually cared what other people thought about me, you guys wouldn't even know who I am. And with that being said, half of you guys watching or that subscribe to my channel or any of my channels at all, wouldn't even know that it's even humanly possible to cut your own hair. So my message to those that are too scared to start cutting your own hair is, who cares what other people think about you? The thing is, you don't wanna give other people control over your life, right? When you're afraid and you're fearful because of external factors, other people around you, you're essentially giving those people control over your life. And for me, I don't want nobody having control over the things that I can manage myself, especially anything that goes on up here and in here. So if there's any type of external factors from friends, from, from teachers, from family, from anybody who's going to be negatively judgmental towards you about your decisions in life, that's a direct representation of their insecurities not yours. So you have to think to yourself and think back, okay, let me stop making excuses and let me just put some action in and get started. Because at the end of the day, if you do wanna start cutting your own hair to save your time and save your money, you have to start small, you have to start somewhere before you can get to the more advanced haircuts. So forget about what other people think about you and just get started. There's a saying that went something on the lines of, a master's failed more times than the student has ever even tried. So if I'm sitting here in this video telling you as somebody that's been cutting my own hair for 13, almost 14 years now and have failed and had some really terrible haircuts throughout my life and I'm over here giving myself amazing haircuts all the time now. Obviously now it's a very beginner haircut for a specific video, but I've failed way more times than you will probably fail because at least you have me to teach you here on YouTube. And when I was cutting my own hair, at least for the first six, seven, eight years, I didn't have anybody teaching me this stuff. Which then brings me into my second reason why you might be too afraid to start cutting your own hair. And that is you lack some type of mentor or leader to help guide you and hold your hand throughout the haircutting process. Now I know you might be thinking, oh Alex, you're just trying to plug in your self haircut course and that's not really what I'm trying to do. And what I'm trying to say is you need somebody there to teach you, right? Like I just said, I spent six, seven, eight years of cutting my own hair between like 13 to like, I don't know, 19 years old. I cut my own hair without anybody teaching me a thing. That's when I went on to YouTube and started watching barber channels. So to eliminate the six to seven year gap of wasted time and, and failures and terrible haircuts, you guys have me here on YouTube to teach you and you can literally within a few haircuts skip six, seven, eight years of your life, all within the matter of a couple of months. So it kind of goes back to, well, if I wanna learn how to paint, I want to find out where Pablo freaking Picasso is and I want him to be my mentor, right? If I want to learn how to fight, I'm finding Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali and those guys are going to teach me how to fight. I don't want to learn how to cut my own hair from somebody who doesn't know how to cut their own hair. I want to go to the, to the master, to the expert that knows what he's doing. So if you're questioning cutting your own hair, you're in the right place. You just need to put in the work now watch a couple of my tutorials and start small. So the third step you guys might be too afraid to start cutting your own hair is probably just as important as the first one, which is you're probably scared and of other people's thoughts, but 
Messing up your haircut is probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest reason why you don't cut your hair because you don't want to end up looking like an egghead like me. Now, the reason I do look like an egghead is because I made a beginner self haircut tutorial recently, but in general, you're probably too scared to mess up. And this is where I go back to that thing where it's like, a lot of people, when they do something or they start something new, they want to jump into it right away and be the expert. They want to just jump into it without having any experience, no actions ever taken, not a single bit of knowledge in that field, and they want to be the expert. They already want to know it, like, or they're too arrogant to realize that they don't understand. But what I'm alluding to is that there's so many people out there that watch my videos that cut their own hair thinking that they can give themselves skin fades, right? An expert level haircut from the very beginning. And this is the complete opposite. It's a lie, you can't do it. So what I tell most beginner self haircutters, especially in the Discord group chat, linked in the description down below, we've got like 250, almost 300 members right now in the free Discord. Definitely check that out. But most of the advice that I tell beginner self haircutters is to start small, start simple, right? Do one, two, three step haircuts. Don't jump to skin fades and do like a 12 step process when you don't even know the very basics or the background of haircutting in general. Before we continue with the video, I wanna thank today's sponsor, my Self Haircut Course. My goal with this course is to help you learn a lifelong skill set that will keep your money in your pocket and save you hours of your time every self haircut by not having to drive to and from a barbershop and pay for an inflated price plus the tip. Take advantage of my Self Haircut Course, which provides you weekly one-on-one -on -one private coaching calls, live streamed interactive self haircut tutorials, a private community group chat, and over 60 high quality videos on the Teachable platform. To start saving your time and money by learning how to cut your own hair, click on the first link in the description to start today. Thank you Self Haircut Course for sponsoring this video. And now the fourth reason why you might be too afraid to start cutting your own hair is because, well, maybe you're pushing things off to the side or you're making up excuses or you're being lazy and you're just not willing to put in the work. And I hate to beat around the bush because I know there's a lot of people nowadays that are very sensitive when it comes to getting ridiculed, or not even ridiculed, just disciplined or taking people's hard truths and then twisting it and building resentment towards somebody. If you guys have been following me for long enough, you know I'm a very nice guy, at least I think so. Very genuine, I enjoy teaching you guys. I'm very passionate about self haircuts and I love doing this and I love teaching you guys how to do it. And I think I live my life with a very happy and positive moral compass. So I think it's fair to say based off my assumptions and my opinions of the world is that if you aren't willing to at least try to cut your own hair, then you're just lazy and you're not willing to put in the work. And I think a lot of people nowadays in the world that we live in today, which is definitely a very, very not the best and usual world that, you know, we shouldn't be in the positions that we are in today. A lot of people nowadays are lazy. A lot of people nowadays don't want to work. A lot of people nowadays just want hand-me-downs and want free money from the government and free this and free that and don't want to put in work, but just want to see results. And to me, I don't live by that moral code. I've been a volunteer from the day I turned like four years old to the day I turned like 20, right? Child labor was a real thing back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Nowadays, everybody's like lazy and doesn't want to put in work. They just want to have stuff handed to them and, and expect life, that's how life is. That's not the reality of life. So the same principles that reality isn't teaching you, I want to bring back and teach you guys as well, which is, don't be lazy if you want to actually save one to three thousand dollars per year by cutting your own hair you have to try and you have to put in the work to get it done you're going to fail whether your first haircut sucks or your third haircut sucks after that you know okay perfect i have a bad hair day for for a couple weeks because i don't want to listen to alex's suggestions after that first or third haircut boom i'm, I'm good i'm learning i've got the basics down pat so at the end of the day, I really want everybody to be self-sufficient, to stop playing victim. I want everybody to take accountability and take ownership for their own actions because at the end of the day, we are the only people that are in control of our life. We can't blame the external world for our failures 
and insecurities and anything negative that we might feel or have towards ourselves and the world. So take accountability and put in the work and stop making excuses. The fifth and final reason why you're afraid to start cutting your own hair is because you lack the knowledge or you're ignorant to the legitimacy of how much money you can actually save and how much time you can actually save. So for you guys that don't know, I know ignorant nowadays means something completely different from what its true meaning actually is, but ignorant really means just a lack of knowledge or just uneducated. So if you are uneducated or lack the knowledge to understand how much money can you actually save by cutting your own hair, then yeah, many people will look at this and be like, oh, he's just cheap. He doesn't want to go to a barber shop and pay their fee. But that's not the case at all because if you actually sit down and do the math like I've done on a few different YouTube videos where I go over different subscribers of mine, different followers of mine on Instagram and TikTok and go through their comments and they say, this is how much money I'm paying or this is how much money I used to pay and this is how often I would go to the barber shop. And then when I do the math and go through the details of how much time and how much money you are actually saving by just walking to your bathroom, cutting your hair for less than an hour, and then going about your day. So yes, you can save between $1,200 and $3,000 plus dollars. And the main factors for breaking down the cost of a self haircut versus going to the barbershop are the following. How much money you value yourself on a per hour basis, whether it's $20 per hour, $50 per hour, $100 per hour. How often you go to the barber shop, whether it's once a week, once every two weeks, once a month. How much the barber charges you on top of the tip that you usually give them. Followed by any gas, tolls, waiting in the waiting room, getting into your car, driving to the barber shop, driving back and all of those time inclusive things as well. So when you actually do the research on whether or not you can actually save your time and save your money by cutting your own hair, or if you should just say, screw it, I'm just going to go to the barbershop anyway and pay them because I like going to the barbershop. Once you do the research, then you'll be able to make a much better decision on whether it's actually worth starting to cut your own hair and take that initial risk. Now, before you guys go, I want to mention that I'm rebranding the self haircut course in its entirety, adding a bunch of new programs, changing around a bunch of stuff, the format and so much stuff with the Discord, Teachable. There's a lot going on and I'm rebranding it to look like a way more professional company. My time involved within the course is growing substantially, so I'm putting in a lot more man hours into the course every single day. And all of you guys can recognize that with the coaching calls and the self haircut tutorials, as well as all the new lectures that I add on a regular basis. But I will say this, if you aren't in the self haircut course, Already, I would definitely consider jumping in now before the rebranding is launched. And I'm not going to say exactly when I'm going to be launching it, but I will say roughly one to two months from now, I would say give or take one to two months. And I think now might be a slightly better time to get in before then. So if you did like this video, definitely leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and share this video with a friend. Also, click on the subscribe button down below to never miss any of my new weekly videos. I usually post Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern time. And also click on the post notifications as well to never miss those videos. And again, if you haven't checked out the self record course already, definitely check it out as well as my Discord channel linked in the description down below. But you guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support and I will catch you all next time. Peace.